what's up y'all this is a desk here that i end up getting from goodwill and it was twenty dollars and i actually have the same exact desk in my room for my vanity but in white from amazon for eighty dollars but like i said i got this from goodwill for twenty dollars it was brand new um there was nothing wrong with it but i've had it for quite some time now and as you can see right there i end up getting a piece of tape on it and i peeled it up and then the paint came off with it so i'm like okay it's time to just paint this so if you guys are interested to see how i turn this into a beautiful beautiful workstation just keep on watching now the items that you're going to need is some spray paint and i use this this was like three four dollars from amazon in the color lilac um of course some lysol wipes you know you want to sanitize the area and then also your contact paper, which I also purchased from Amazon. And you will also need some type of credit card or debit card that way you can smooth the contact paper as you lay it down. And I almost forgot you need the scissors to cut the contact paper. And I am showing you guys a measuring tape that I didn't end up using because actually on the back of the contact paper, they had like a little grid on there. That way you can use that as you cut it. Now, of course, we want to start off by sanitizing the area. You want to make sure that there is no dirt or any type of um, residue or anything on the table before you lay your contact paper down. Okay, and you want to start by measuring your contact paper out to lay it on the table. And I always say just cut a little bit more than needed because as you lay it down, it does get a little tight. Um, yeah, I'm going to see my baby run in and out the background, y'all. But, um, but yeah, just always cut just a little bit more than needed. Okay, now, like I was saying, y'all, they have the little markings on the back of it to where you can cut it, but my cutting was not perfect at all. I mean, it doesn't have to be straight up perfect, but you want it perfect enough. Um, but yeah, well, as you peel the back of it, um, don't peel off too much at a time because it will rip. So just kind of take your time and only peel back a little bit at a time. Okay, now once you get it to how you want to lay it, you just want to make sure you get it really even on there and kind of just um, smooth it out. And you want to take your card and smooth it out so there won't be any air bubbles in there. And as you're pulling it back, make sure y'all be careful because as y'all will see, I end up getting like a paper cut and it hurt it really bad. Um, but just be careful of how you're pulling it back. And as you see, I'm doing just a little at a time and smoothing it out. But um, I'm just going to let y'all watch it from here because everything is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, but yeah. And this is pretty much how you will do your ends and your corners. But as you all go through the video, when I start to paint it, you're going to see that I end up removing that part anyway. Mm -hmm. 
and we're just going to go out and measure this part here to finish this up and this video is sped up y'all just in case if y'all were wondering um but yeah you want to when you lay it down that second half you just want to make sure that you um line it up like literally side by side almost on top of it but not quite that way you won't have like that little line or demarcation or whatever that way you won't see where it separates it Right here you can see what I was talking about it's like so close together that it's like almost on top of it but not quite um, and then you just want to do that and just smooth it out as you go y'all right, and this is how it looks after i finish putting the contact paper on it and you can pretty much stop right here if you don't want to paint the legs or anything you can just leave it like this or you can put contact paper on the legs but i chose to paint it and you will all see why i chose to paint it um but yeah this is how it looks right here and let's start painting okay now a little disclaimer right here y'all i end up putting paper on the floor i end up putting wrapping paper on the floor because i didn't have any plastic but it didn't take me long to do this at all y'all i pretty much i paint all the time so i pretty much know what i'm doing but i will recommend putting plastic on the floor because as you all see the little paint as it's spraying it's going to go everywhere so that's just a little disclaimer before anybody try to jump in my comments of saying this or saying that and you pretty much just want to spray it real evenly. You don't want to spray it too close. Because um, if you do it too close, it'll be really, really wet and it'll start running. So you want to spray far back some and make, make sure that it's evenly. Do an evenly spray when you're doing this. But yeah, y'all see how easy this is? Like, and it turned out really cute. Now this is the next morning. As you can see, as I stated before, I end up putting some Christmas paper down, y'all. That was the only thing that I had left um, that'll work. So yeah, once I laid everything down, I just finished spraying what I had to spray and that was it. And this paint here, y'all, it took no time to dry at all. It probably dried in all about, I let it probably sit for like two hours, if that y'all, and it was completely dry. And right here is what I was talking about. I'm pretty much just taking like a little razor or a box cutter and I'm just going to slice that all the way down and then just paint that little area right there. And 
and this is pretty much how it's looking y'all it, it looks so freaking cute like y'all know my favorite color purple now come on now look at that lilac color y'all it's so freaking beautiful so beautiful but this is it here i'm just gonna let this dry like i said for probably like an hour hour and a half i don't know no more than two hours really don't remember and yeah and i'll show you guys the finished result Oh, and I did want to throw this in here, y'all. These are just some little shower caddies that I got from Dollar Tree. And, of course, they're white, and I'm just going to spray paint that purple as well. Y'all, everything does not have to be expensive to look pretty. And when y'all see this whole look come together, man, I'm telling y'all, Dollar Tree is the truth. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. Don't it look good, y'all? Like, this is so freaking cute. And the contact paper was only like seven, eight dollars from Amazon. The spray paint was only like three and some change. And the desk was only $20 at Goodwill, y'all. Come on now. And then I ended up putting just the little jewels on there. Um, I did get those from Dollar Tree as well. Just something to kind of spice it up a little bit. And I actually may go back and just add the jewels all the way across on the drawers. And as you can see right there where I cut it, that ain't nothing a little glue can't fix, y'all. But yeah, this is the finished look, y'all. This is why I said I wanted to continue to paint it versus just stopping with just the contact paper. But it looks really good. Everything came together really well. Um, and just let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, y'all. And this will only be, this is only part one. I have part two of my actual um, drawers and everything and how that come together. And then part three will be my whole total look of me storing and organizing my lip gloss and everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.